multi factor authentication as well right right okay so it means that we are able to manage each and everything uh, of office 365 user with the help of azure ad first second by using the same azure active directory services we are able to control the microsoft intune services so what do you think about the microsoft intune like it's a platform where we can manage the remote resources right be it the computers laptops or the mobile devices we can do the deployments and all with ms intune any any mobile devices we are able to manage like we are respond we, we are able to um enroll all types of platform i think it support the windows it support mac operating system and and we are also enroll our uh, android devices as well correct yeah yeah all the mdms yeah ah uh, yes so basically microsoft intune contain two important service mdm and mam correct yeah. mdm yep. it's a yep. mobile device management and mam mobile application, application management. management yeah correct so if you want to use your active directory services to manage the uh, resources of microsoft intune services so you can say that without ad we are unable to enroll any devices right correct ad come into the picture if you want to establish if you want to control your remote devices if you want to enroll any kind of resource over ms intune you must need to purchase you must need to purchase at least one subscription for azure active directory right and you need to create a user and password through azure active directory and then use the same username and password to enroll your on premises devices it may be a mobile phone it may be laptop or desktop anything is it correct tablet we are able to enroll. right yep, yep third option uh, any any idea about avd mm, no no cheat okay no problem i hope you have idea about the vdi solution yeah so no no okay okay so you know that vdi solution is a virtual desktop interface which is uh, yeah. um provided by multiple technology multiple provider you can say that which is uh, uh, help us to access same computer through multiple user account it give us a, a proper desktop to our customer or client mm -hmm. yeah we can configure vdi solution through vmware horizon we can set up yep. our vdi solution with citrix as well and uh, our azure portal also establish a one place or you can say that uh, establish a one service over a azure portal that give us option to configure vdi solution directly with the help of azure portal so azure virtual desktop is a core vdi solution which is available on online clear core no need to purchase any kind of hardware resources if you want to set up your mm -hmm. environment everything uh, uh, everything are available on portal you just need to proceed and create but for this particular task you also need to in, uh, involve azure active directory without right. active directory you are unable to perform any task you are unable to create a host pool or uh, distributing the services through vdi to your on premises user so another important uh, importance of azure active directory to manage the vdi solution through avd environment clear yeah clear next azure services means uh, it's really important for us because uh, you know that over azure portal up to 3600 different services are available and it's right. our responsibility we should know about the uh, how to control the portal how to control the uh, services our subscription our policies and number of things are available clear yeah so just wanted to know about means the agenda why you are why you need to prepare yourself for the azure active directory to manage office 365 or intune or avd or azure services just wanted to know about because we need to uh, perform a separate uh -huh. separate task for uh, different different uh, platforms right so majorly it will be for o365 and uh, intune microsoft intune and o365 services cool understood right okay right. so i'm just going to start from very basic to understand about the features or services which is available in the azure active directory panel and then sure. we'll discuss about one one practical related to the o365 and intune how you can utilize your uh, azure active directory for intune services and for office 365 cool okay cool yeah fine because your is a is, is the type of customized course so we need to check the entire services related to the ad only correct right 
Right, right, correct, yeah. Fine, so I'm just going to start from very basic, like I just start from what is AD, what is Azure AD, because we know very well about the usage of uh, normal Active Directory services. Second important part, users and group management. It's really important for us. We need to know about the user and group management. Right. Then we'll move ourselves to, uh, in, in user management, we have a number of options we will discuss. Then discuss okay. about the S MFA and uh, SSPR. Okay. We'll talk about custom domain, how we can add our custom domain to Azure portal, Azure Active Active portal. Then sure. move ourselves to uh, Azure AD join, which is really important option in case of AD. Okay. Then we'll talk about tenant. How we can create multiple tenant with the help of Azure Active Directory services. Then talk about RBAC, which is really important role based access control that help us to distribute our subscription our resources with different different portal we'll discuss about hybrid setup as we know that i'm talking about the azure ad connect. Right. join premises so azure ad connect and azure ad join both are responsible to make a hybrid environment but if we talk about ad join in this case we are able to connect our client computer in case of hybrid means Azure AD Connect that can help us to synchronize our on-premises Active Directory user to Azure portal. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. So these all are the options which is available in AD and further we'll discuss about the usage of Active Directory with O365 like any conditional access are another services and we'll discuss about the Intune in, in, uh, device enrollment part as well. Okay. Okay, so as we know that if you want to establish any kind of practical with the Azure Active Directory, we must need to purchase a subscription. So yeah. just wanted to know, do you have any subscription? Mm, as, I just like as got you, the free one. Uh, it may be free or uh, different different types of uh, Azure subscription are available. We can proceed with free trial, right? Yeah. We have option to proceed with pay as you go pay as you go yeah. and last one is msdn right so we must need to purchase at least one subscription it may be free trial it may be pay as you go or msdn mm -hmm. so in case of uh, free trial azure will provide us 14500 inr right and this amount is valued for next 30 days 30 days yeah Fine. Pay as you go. As per the name suggests, you have to pay the amount as per the usage. You can also consider it as a on demand. On demand. Last one is MSDN, which is a, a Microsoft development part. So in this case, if you are an MCT, Microsoft Certified Trainer, Azure will provide you $100 per month for the testing purpose. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to open our Azure portal and try to understand about the each and every stay options which is available in AD. Clear? Sure. Yep. Sure. Fine, so this is our Azure portal and if we talk about my subscription, so I'm using MSDN, Microsoft Certified, uh, due to Microsoft Certified Trainer, Azure will provide me $100 per month. It's fully based on the uh, validity of your certification, right? Whenever, right. whenever you yep. prepare yourself for the MCT, so MCT certificate valid for one year and you can renew anytime. Clear? Yep. Now. 
in left panel we have a security option and number of options we, uh, available in security so our responsibility to start from active directory in the active directory panel we are able to find a number of options are available like as we talk about the overview so it gives you the complete information about your tenant number of user number of groups number of application and number of devices which is involved in this particular panel we are able to find a number of options like as a users group applications and about the devices 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 in the sense the devices which is connected with your uh, um uh, as your portal with the help of as you ready join um uh, are you are added your devices for the microsoft intune services so you will find the entire devices de device de devices details in the and just wanted to know about what do you think about the tenant how we can, how, how we can define about the tenant services according to you what we can say tenant as in like one particular client for us one particular client uh, okay okay any in any real time example means any do we have any example to understand properly about the tenant uh, like in sure if we have multiple uh, uh, domains for one client i guess tenant defines each domain and then further users into it mm -hmm. and based on based on that we can like define to which tenant we want to assign which services or define the groups okay yes we can say that you can say that uh, tenant can help us to segregate the uh, workload you can say that see okay. we log in our user we log in our azure portal with the help of one mail id this is your right. root account correct yeah and we have only one subscription okay. as we know that we have only one subscription the meaning right. of tenant like as uh, for example this is our azure portal right this is our azure portal and we log in our account through root account or right. maybe with the help of admin account clear yeah yeah okay so you must need to purchase the subscription because subscription is really important if you want to purchase anything but yeah. you must in networking storage or you want to perform any task with your uh, active directory services you must need to purchase the subscription subscription okay now for example you establish n number of services on your azure portal and you are single person to handle each and every resources you created multiple virtual machine storage uh, network devices vpn security and you are single person to handle each and every services so it's really okay. difficult for one engineer is it correct yeah because we have only 8 to 8, eight to 9 hours shift and we are responsible to manage we are responsible to uh resolve the entire tickets you are getting lots yeah. of ticket and 8 hour or 9 hour shift is not in uh, enough to handle entire ticket so what you need to do you need to discuss with manager or you need to discuss with uh, uh any respective pe person and describe mm -hmm. please hire few more engineers because i am unable to handle the entire ticket due to reason of timing not related to the technical issues got it what i'm saying yeah so right. uh you had three different engineers like as a 1 2 and 3 abc is our new engineer xyz is our new engineer and test correct right so no any organization never any organization can uh, uh, purchase another subscription because you are a administrator right and you 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 are responsible to provide the services to these engineer do you these new uh, employees right clear you should take responsibility of uh, entire portal like as a billing alert monitoring right resource uh, right. Uh, checking each and every responsibility admin are responsible to manage each, each and every activity correct now yep. it's your responsibility to divide that task divide the workload right. as we know that A, A, A B C X Y Z test. They all know very well about the Azure services. 
बट वी नेवर शेयर द एडमिन क्रेडेंशियल टू एनी ऑफ यूजर करेक्ट सो इट्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू शेयर फ्यू परमिशन टू आवर ए बी सी सम परमिशन टू आवर एक्स वाई जी एंड फ्यू परमिशन टू आवर टेस्ट यूजर राइट सो वी डिसाइडेड ए बी सी रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू मैनेज एवरी वर्चुअल मशीन एक्स वाई जी रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू मैनेज द स्टोरेज एंड टेस्ट यूजर रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू मैनेज द ऑल नेटवर्क डिवाइसिस नाउ इज इट क्लियर फाइन सो वट यू नीड टू डू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिवाइड द सब्सक्रिप्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिवाइड द वर्क लोड विद डिफरेंट डिफरेंट यूजर्स सो वट यू नीड टू डू वट यू नीड टू डू यू जस्ट नीड टू क्रिएट थ्री डिफरेंट यूजर ए बी सी एक्स वाई जी एंड टेस्ट यूजर विद द हेल्प ऑफ एज इट एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी पैनल बाई यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑप्शन इज इट क्लियर एंड असाइन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टेनेंट आई डी टू एवरी इंजीनियर क्लियर Okay. Because we are responsible, we, we need to use the tenant ID for lots of activity. Like for example, as we know that uh, nowadays every cloud provider can give us option to manage the automation part. Is it correct? Right. We yeah. are able to uh, manage our, our Office three sixty five through PowerShell, through CLI, through JSON language. Is it correct? so automation part in the sense you just create a script just run the script every time your resource will be active right as it is over azure portal we are able to access the azure services through various way like through gui through cli or powershell or json templates as well correct yeah now our abc user or xy user want to manage our virtual machine through our personal laptop but not mm-hmm. through the gui he want to access the virtual machines and resources with the help of cli or powershell sure. clear so in this case you need to download a small tool uh, which is help us to make a connection between our azure portal to on premises powershell or on premises cmd clear so right. in this case you need to provide your tenant id tenant id right so mm-hmm. that's why it's our responsibility the administrator responsibility to create a separate tenant id because i don't want to share any tenant id admin never share with share our tenant id with any user is it correct right 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 so that's why we need to create a tenant id for every active directory that they can handle or manage our services through gui or uh, using uh, cli or powershell it's uh, up to users i hope you understand about the concept yeah yeah i do yeah. so this is the actual usage of tenant id means by single subscription by single azure portal we are able to create n number of tenant id is it fine we have option right. to create user we are able to create our group enterprise applications our app registration tenant it's up to you which types of tenant you want to distribute with uh, your new employee clear okay yeah fine so we have option to manage the tenant so we will discuss later about it because first of all we are responsible to manage uh, what we can say we are responsible to manage the basic thing like as a user management group management types of built in role which is available how we can create our own custom role so like that so that's why i'm just going to move ourselves to the user management and whenever we click on the user it give you n number of option means the user that you have already created in my case actually i'm using this same account to manage my office 365 portal i have already synchronized my on premises ad to azure portal that's why we are able to find n number of users are available right Yeah. but we will discuss each and everything so i'm just going to create a new user just need to click here okay before that need to know about the number of options new user new guest user bulk operation bulk create bulk invite bulk delete and download bulk user we have a per user mfa we have a password reset sspr services you can proceed with diagnose and solve problem which is help us kind of help and support that can help us to troubleshooting part right right but now i'm just going to start from user and guest user so uh, just wanted to know about uh, the gap between uh, 
new user and guest user? So new user, I believe, would be like the user is the part of the organization where we want to give him these services and all. Mm -hmm. Guest user would be just like a user outside the organization to which we just want to give a limited access to. Okay, correct. So means we can say that the guest user, we need to just add for the temporary basis. Right. Yeah. Our B2B activity, any kind of project, you both uh, client are handle the same project and you want to uh, make a transparency between each other. So that that time we'll also create a guest user account and say the invitation to our client or uh, right. our business partner and provide the access right. for a few days. Yeah. A new user we need to create for our existing employee or new employee correct yep. yep okay so i'm just going to create new user only for identification how we can utilize this user uh i want to create a user with name of any let me verify because i have already created a number of users okay the username is azure display name is also azure we have a two different way to proceed with password. One auto generate, uh, you can also create your own password. Okay. Two different options are available. One is group and another is roles. Roles. Need to know about the gap between roles and uh, uh, groups. So you can relate your active directory services, especially group and role, to your on premises AD. I think in okay. our on premises AD, we are responsible to add. Uh, our user to existing group or we can also create our own customized group right right yeah. so in case of on premises may I know the how many groups in any one or two examples which is available in on premises AD just need to know about the group name which is already available in on premises AD so by default like it's all users then mm -hmm. you know you can create your own groups as like Let's suppose if you just want to give access to remote users for terminal services, mm -hmm. you can add them in the remote group. Similarly, if you're uh, mapping the drives, you can also set up those as a, like, let's suppose there's an accounting drive. So you can create an accounting group and you can give access to that drive and all the users will part of it. It will, by default, gets added to them. So that's how we bifurcate and great, divide great. the groups. Great. So if we talk about the default user, default group, which is available in AD, so you know about the uh, domain admin, enterprise admin, domain admin enterprise, yeah. schema master, schema yeah, group, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Group policy creator owner, something like that. As it yeah. is, over Azure portal, n number of groups are available. Those groups are responsible to handle an additional task in compare of normal users. Right. For example, you created one user on your server 2012 or 16 operating system and your user is a, just a member of a domain user account. I don't mm -hmm. think you are able to install any application or uninstall any application from client machine. Is it possible? No. You are able to log in any operating system, maybe Windows 7, 10, 11, both, those, those right. machines are part of uh, Active Directory. We are able to log in, but only log in. Right. We are yeah. unable to make any changes, correct? Yeah. But if you assign few permissions, like uh, if you make it the member of uh, uh, domain administrator or member of enterprise administrator, I think you are able to perform lots of tasks. Yeah, you can make changes, you can install apps. Yeah, exactly. Can... Exactly. As it is over Azure portal, a number of services are available that can help us to manage the identity as well. So. If we click on the roles, by default, it's a part of users. And uh -huh. if you click on the user panel, it gives you the complete information about the built-in role, right? Okay. For example, we have application administrator. If you are a developer, if you establish uh -huh. multiple applications on Azure portal, but you don't want to share the credential of root account. So what do you need to do? Right. Need to create one user roles. and assign yeah. the role, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whenever Azure user, the username that we decided whenever we log in right. our separate azure portal with the help of same user mm -hmm. account i think the user able to manage the application services right yeah because he has this tool yeah exactly just, just like a built-in group of our on premises you could say that right right makes sense not only the application you have a n number of groups are available 
it's up to you billing administrator desktop analyt analytic administrator and, and a number of groups are available and uh, right. remember whenever we try to create um, um, what we can say that synchronize or on premises user to cloud or uh, okay. office 365 i think we are using this particular option yeah the global admin yeah. global administrator can manage and uh, aspects of azure active directory and microsoft services that used to azure identities clear yeah so as it is a number of uh, uh, roles are available and one more important part these roles are considered as a built in role these roles okay. are considered as a built in role we have a two different types of roles are available on azure one is built in role and second one is customized role the customized role that we are responsible to design as per our requirement clear right 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 i'm not going to make any uh, member in, i'm not going to add it with any uh, roles but i hope you understand about the usage of role correct yeah yeah got it yeah cool so another additional settings are available if you don't want to log in authorize your user for the login purpose you just need to click here right for example right. uh, you are planning to hire three engineer but not for to, not from today engineers right. will join from monday but i'm not going to share azure portal on the same day i'll share right. my azure credential at thursday or maybe friday correct right right so right. what i need to do i have a proper time so i'm just going to create and put a, into the excel sheet or anywhere in our system i'm just going to just copy the credential and temporary uh, sorry username and uh, temporary password when right. when we need to start working with our when client want to start working with the Azure services, we just need to click no, and user able, client able, or engineer able to log in our user account. Fine. Right. Yep. Why we need to use location? Any benefit to use the location? Like for security purpose. Okay. Which type so, of security? So in case if someone else got the credentials for some, like the user we created. So if we have the location in place, if the person should only able to log in from the specific location, if it's the IP is from a different location, it uh -huh. he or she won't able to block. I mean, uh, log in even if they got the credentials. Great. So you can also involve the conditional access, right? Conditional access. Yeah. Like right. I'm going to create this user and I want to use it in only and only India location. I don't want to authorize or allow to access our. Uh, Uh, engineer this account in different countries like the US or right. any any anywhere. I don't want to allow, right? So for the identification, for self identification, you just need to add it, right? And go right. to the conditional access and configure the location. Correct. This is basic information. Like I just just need to provide the basic information of our yep, user. Yep. Simple and click create. Is it fine? Yep. All good. Okay, these all are the options, basic options which is available in new user creation. So we successfully created our user with name of Azure. Need to log in it. Our Azure is connected with uh, something which is associated with on Microsoft dot com, right? Because we haven't configured any custom domain, correct? Right. Very clear. If, yeah. if you want to use, if you want to introduce your organization, right? if you want to introduce uh -huh. your business so what we need to do we must need to purchase domain at least right yeah abc at the rate itvd.net abc yep. at the rate ibm.com something so we must yeah. need to purchase from any domain provider n number of providers are available in market like godaddy.com name che post getter n number of providers are available so we will discuss about how we can add our custom domain as well but for now i'm um, for now we need to use the default domain name. I'm just going to copy the uh, username, open incognito widget to reset the temporary password. Right? Portal dot azure dot right. com. Next, provide the uh, temporary password. Okay. Good 
Prince, just give me one minute. Okay, sorry. Yes. So now let's try to. We are able to log in our Azure user that we created through Azure Active Directory. Is it fine? Yep. But unfortunately, we are unable to perform any task because you don't have any subscription. Subscription. Yeah. Right. Uh, let me check. We don't have any subscription. Let's try to open any resource like as a virtual machine. It give us a it, it actually it guide you. You have a three different way to access your services. This is Azure Active Directory user. That's why it give give us option. You can manage the policy or services through Azure AD, right? If you want to share any resources from existing root account to this particular okay. account, so Azure Active Directory root account can help you. Clear? The same free trial. If you want to purchase separate subscription, so it is also possible. Is it fine? Right. Yep. But your user is fully controlled by the root ac uh, account. No matter you purchase your separate subscription, got it? Right. But your entire right. activity, which is managed and monitored by the root ac uh, root account or admin account, then now this is the basic information related to the users. Talk about the. Uh, guest user account. So, in case of guest user account, how we can use over Azure portal? So, like with with guest user, we we like when we set them up, we send an invite to their existing email, correct? Mm -hmm. And like once the once they accept the invite. They just gonna log in to the portal, and uh, they, sh they would be able to access the services or the links that, or the things that we will be uh, setting them up or sharing with them. Correct, correct. Uh, let's talk about the example how we can use the guest user account. For example, uh, this is my account that I created with the help of abc at gmail dot com. Right, I sign up myself right. with the help of gmail dot com. And right. you also created your own account with name of xyz at gmail dot com, right? Right. We both have a subscription. I'm using my own pay as you go subscription. You also right. purchase your own pay as you go subscription, right? Yeah. Now I created a number of resources as well, like as a two or three different virtual machine, one is storage account, one Azure Vnet, and one database services as well, DB, right? right. And unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't have a much idea about the DB, correct? Right. But you know very well about the database services. You know about the SQL, Microsoft SQL, Oracle. You have a much idea about the database, right? right. I'm facing some issues like as I'm unable to create any table or I'm unable to add any databases. So what uh -huh. I need to do, I just need to coordinate to you and right. request for few tasks, right? Just coordinate B2B activity. Yeah. So if you face any problem in networking, I'm eligible to manage the networking part. Right? Okay. You are okay with database services. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'll send you the request. Send you you the invitation. Right? right? Once you accept the invitation, like as you have a much time, like you are uh, able to give at least one hour per day to manage yeah. and monitor my database services. I'm 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 okay to manage and monitor your network devices or network services that you purchase. So just coordinate to each other. Clear? Right. So what I need to do in case of guest user account, 
I need to send you the invitation first. Root account will send you invitation and you need to accept it. Right. Clear? After acceptation, I'll share my database with, with your own account. Right. right. Yeah. I'm responsible to manage the billing and everything I'm responsible. But related to the technology, re related to the technical terms, you are responsible to manage all the part. Got it what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so now, uh, quick question. So once the guest user accepted the invitation, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in order to access the database, will they would be able to, like, uh, they would need to log in separately uh, mm -hmm. with a different uh, guest username and ID in order to access the database? Or it they would, or since they accepted it, they would automatically be able to view that database service in their existing login yes do not use any other separate mail id or password to log in a separate portal because you are responsible to manage your own task as well now right 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 makes sense yeah right. so i'm sending you invitation not creating user for you right right, right? So it's just an uh, like an acceptance towards that service and once you accept it you'll you'll get the access of it like the guest user will get the access correct correct so let me show you the proper practical how you can achieve it. So like in our case, in our case, uh, this is my Azure portal that I log in through manandrava24 at outlook.com. Right. Fine. I have another uh, Azure portal, means Azure account uh, that I uh, created with pay as you go. Uh -huh. Okay, this is my another portal, right? And I have already purchased right. one subscription for this account as well. It's a pay as you go. Right. See? Yeah. Both are on honor of our self uh, portal. They are able to yeah. perform n number of tasks. Okay. And see, uh, my account is associated with AWS Trainer India at gmail.com. Correct? Yeah. Need to open your Gmail account as well because you will receive an invitation on your mail ID. Right. Fine. So we successfully log in our uh, Gmail account by using the same mail ID that you, you th that you are using for your Azure portal. Is it correct? Yeah. AWS in yeah. India something. Back to the root account of uh, your sender, you can say that. Our requester, uh -huh. you can say that. Just need to right. click on Azure uh, guest user account, and now this time. You are getting an option related to the invite. Not invite, really. right, right. Provide the username. Any username you can. Um, you, you, you can select any name, like as a. Yep. Remote, okay? Right. This is our user name and only for display name, you can say that. Yep. yep. And in this particular panel, we are unable to find any option related to the password. We don't have any option to configure the password. Yes, you are able to make it member of existing group or you can assign that different role as well. But I don't think we are able to find any option related to the password management. Correct? Right. Because we are not authorized to make any changes with our guest user account password. In this particular panel, you need to type the same mail ID that you want to share. AWS Trainer and Gmail. India at gmail .com. Correct? Uh, no need to do anything, just click invite. We successfully send it the invitation for AWS something trainer account. Yep. Back to the uh, our Gmail, Gmail account. You got the invitation, yeah.
we receive a one invitation select and you need to accept it's up to you you are ready to work with each other uh, you don't want to accept it's up to you click accept invitation and sign then click accept fine so we successfully accept the invitation from our guest user account right right yeah cool back to the azure portal and refresh the page although in this account i have already created multiple resources like as a multiple virtual machines yeah. are available and i have created uh, uh, vnet and number of virtual machines are I have already created thank you okay so let me check uh, i don't think we have any storage account let me check okay we don't have any storage account correct no. but in our root administrator means in other account i think few storage account are available avd storage 1988 correct yeah and we don't have any storage account so i'm just going to show you how you can share it although we will we'll discuss uh, more about it in case of our back services but for understanding about the guest user account just need to open our resource that you want to share mm -hmm. access control it's a part of our back add what you want to make it you want to assign role uh, proceed with co administrator or you need to define your own role so i want to make it owner uh -huh. next select your user that you want to uh, add so in our case we have a remote yeah associated with aws trainer india something select okay. and assignment that's it so we 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 make it owner right 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 yeah okay role we successfully added the role back to the uh, yeah. account guest account and refresh the page refresh should come in a while and you need to switch the directory just need to click here it give us option to switch directory mm. so we send a invitation from manan rawat 24 dot on right. microsoft dot com click here oh sorry this one is manan rawat 24 outlook 0 outlook 45 yeah avd storage 1988 right yep yep got it yeah so we are able to share our resources not only the resources even you can also share your tenant id or tenant uh, uh, details or subscription detail to your um, guest user account as well fine correct yeah yeah so i hope you understand about the concept of normal user creation and about the concept of uh, uh, yeah, yeah. guest user account as well yeah correct clear? thank you thank you for giving this example like it really clarified it okay yeah next we have a bulk operation right so in case of bulk operation as per the name suggests if uh, 
you want to create n number of user like up to 50 user or 100 users right. so it's really difficult to create one by one so yeah. we have another option i hope you know about the bulk user operation how we can create n number of user at a time yeah how we can yeah. do that could you please uh, guide me so you want to create multiple users so you just click on bulk create that mm -hmm. will be regular user it has to be guest user then the other option mm -hmm. bulk invites and then it will download a CSV file. We fill the CSV file. Like once we click on download, it will give us the template. We fill the information and then we upload it. And similarly, it will create the account. Like in that CSV file, it will be just like the username, first name, last name, the uh, email. Oh, great. So CSV file is a type of template that gives us option to provide the user's information that you want to create, right? Right. Right, right. And you can also ask to HR team, please share the information about new employee in Excel sheet and we will convert our Excel sheet in CSV format and directly upload. Correct? Right, yeah. So yes, this is the way that we can create a multiple user account through single click, on single click. Not only the creation, even you can send a bulk invitation, uh, you can yeah. delete the bulk user or you can download the information about the User side. Users, yeah. Fine. Any question? Any doubt? No, all, all good so far. Okay, fine. So, uh, it's uh, I, 